Okay, instructions finished, and uh, here's the result. So as you can see, this is a typical frame, cut with the hot knife, beautifully extracted. Beautifully, not meaning I've done a beautiful job, but just in comparison to what's <laughs> what the heat gun has done. Look at that. Look at the contrast between the two. The structure of the comb is almost completely intact. The 15 degree um, angle of the comb is maintained damage is minimal. I think the bees will have this fixed up in and repaired in, in a matter of you know, hours and they can start immediately filling that comb with honey as opposed to what this what the heat gun has done. It's a very very poorly extracted, not only poorly extracted, but the comb damage is substantial. Was it faster? Well, maybe a little bit. Oh, I'm talking... Oh, geez, there's very little in it. It was a little faster. But is it worth it? Certainly not straight when you look at it from profile. You know, I think it's a extruding uh, so you don't have uh, I'm trying to get this right for the light I don't think I'll be able to sorry about that but you, you know what I mean it's uh, it's not straight at all in comparison to when you run a knife through this one it's just beautifully flat beautifully straight Beautifully extracted comb. Now we've also done two sides with this. One side being scratched, which is this one, which has been scratched with uh, with that little fork tool or cappings tool. A little bit better. Certainly, almost everything has been extracted. You can see bits and pieces just around there. You know, honey is still in there. In some of those combs. Some here. Still not extracted. Again, damage substantial in comparison to something like a typically heat knife or hot knife uh, extracted um, or decapped frame but on this side which the fork has not run through well you can see at least 15 percent I would even be willing to call 20 percent not extracted at all around the edges wherever the wherever the wax came in contact with the honey without the air but uh, without the you can see it right there without the air pocket oh, sorry about that oh, there you go so wherever that happened you've just heated the honey it didn't pop didn't open the cap therefore no extraction just for a uh, just to prove the point I have set up this scale so here is the same size frame same size which is the ideal size frame extracted 350 grams Now, with the heat gun, wow, look at that, 665, almost double, 
almost double of the normally extracted frame so oh, I don't know I, you know to be fair there are other arguments of course uh, you don't have any wax to deal with all the wax remains on this frame um, yes the, uh, the, these then don't need to produce the wax because it is actually on this frame um, but you don't have the byproduct um, of a nice clean frame is it faster using a heat gun marginally marginally certainly extraction I would say is wow uh, at least 20% less so the call is yours I uh, you know let me know let me know your thoughts um, I'd really like to get your opinions on this I think my mind is made up which uh, which method I'll use but there have been many videos made on the uh, use of the heat guns and apologies for the brand name I'd you know use any brand really we have rock over here it was a nice heat gun dual speed uh, nice indicators temperatures and it was cheap it's a 2000 watt unit not that I'm <laughs> doing any marketing for them no uh, certainly not but it's been with me for over two years and last well um, so yeah I, I am I am keen to to find out uh, anyone using the method how do you find it what are your thoughts pros and cons same with um, with those um, you know considering the method um, what do you think if you um, like these videos please let me know uh, subscribe if you like that'd be fantastic I'd much appreciate that it would help the channel like them share the videos let me know your feedback if you'd like me to cover any specific topics I'm more than happy to create videos or create test environments to answer them I'm a, a novice amateur beekeeper so I certainly won't have any scientific proof for you but gee it's fun for me hopefully it's fun for you and um, we can help the beekeeping industry everyone should have bees at home I think and uh, you should teach your kids about the fantastic creature in their society and how they live my kids love it so anyway uh, hopefully we'll see you on the next video see you soon bye